Hi everybody. Hope you're all doing real well today. Um, it's time for part six of the TACOM St. Chamond um, 135th scale late type uh, kit number 2012. Uh, I've done a lot of pre-fitting and a lot of you know adjusting parts and things like that and uh, test fitting that type of thing. So hopefully this this episode will go a little bit easier. Um, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and go down to the bench and um, we'll see if we can get some more of this put together. Still got lots of fiddly little parts to put on. All right. Be right back. Okay. We're going to continue working on this part here. What I've got to do next, this is really delicate, but the road wheels will set. There's three here, three here, and two here, and the same thing on the other side. So I've got some little grooves here that uh, brackets go in on both sides to capture the wheels. So I've got three on this side and three on this side to put to the inside, and then the same on the other. Well, the instructions are actually working upside down. They want you to pre-assemble some of these parts that have got some really tidy little or real thin pieces on them. Um, but I'm going to do the thin pieces really. I'm going to do those very last. This, this is some of the parts they want you to pre-assemble. So we'll, we'll uh, hang on to those for just a few minutes and, uh, We'll get some of these other parts put on. So I've got to, I've got to think backwards in the instructions um, when I'm looking at these because they're they're doing it basically like you were putting the parts together to work on this side. So let's go ahead and get into step 26 here. I had to do a lot of work on these parts. Um, D22 the slot on these is narrower than this and this has got a couple of little protrusions here and here that went all the way down and wouldn't allow the part to go into the slot and also the plastic was too wide so i had to kind of do a little bevel and a bevel just to get the parts narrow enough to where they would drop in the slot so let's go ahead and see if we can get a few of these put on need to do a little tidy up on my bench. <laughs> so this is uh, D22, and it'll go right here. Okay, guys, and my wife just stepped into the room and had a quick question for me, so not a problem. Let's go ahead and see if we can get D22 put on. Going to go right here. I'm going to try and hold it in place and then run just a little bit of glue. Try and keep my fingers from getting into it. Make sure it's square. Like so. Okay. Um, let's see. D36. I want to do all the same on one side. So let's get D35. It will go back here. Every one of these I had to do a little fitting on. It wasn't difficult. It's just a little time consuming, which I don't mind. Okay. 
Okay. All right. And then um, D19 will be in several pieces. So let's move ahead to D19. Here's D19, which will go here. But it also has uh, D26 and D10 that go with it. So here's D10. And D26. Okay. And those parts we'll get to in a minute. So this one here will go right here. I know you can't see real well, but I need to add a couple of parts first. So this is D19. I'm going to make sure I'm... See, I'm doing everything upside down. So D19 will go right here. Sounds like a big truck in the neighborhood. I'm going to have to use the regular. The quick setting just sets too fast. Okay, and then we've got one more piece. which will go here. Make sure I'm on the right side. The, the uh, instructions are not terribly clear. Let's do this. Just so I don't drop it. Okay, <clears throat> and this one goes here. Okay. There's that all put together. And then it's going to go in here. And uh, if we can't do that. Like it wants to be leaned over just a little bit. Let's 
Okay. I'm happy with that. Now I've got to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'll go ahead and shut the camera off. No point in you watching me do it twice. And uh, I'll be right back as soon as I get these parts on, on this side. Okay. Be just a minute. Okay. It's been 15 minutes or so just allowing everything to firm up really good. But, uh, here's the parts I just added. Here and here and then down here. So what they want you to do next is they want you to add some really delicate little braces. And they run from here down to the down to the bottom of the tank. Now I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, that'll be about the last thing I think I'll do. There'll there'll be six of these. But what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get the springs all lined up. So this is gonna go on here like so. Okay, and there's going to be two springs here, two springs here, and then two this way. So we got six per side, and every set is slightly different. So like these two are the same, these two are the same. I think these four are all the same, and then these four here are the same. But what they want you to do is they want you to put all those delicate little parts on, and then drop this on here and try and get all the holes to line up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spring here, 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 and here. And then set this on and get those lined up and glued. Take it back off and then put some more of them on, line them up and get them glued. Excuse me. That way when I get this all put together, hopefully it will all line up and I won't have to take any parts off again. These I'll be setting aside for a little bit. Um, we're going to jump up to step 20. It says, well, here, here's another example here. Uh, we've been working on step 26. And I've got uh, these three and these three. And they want you to put these little cross braces on. Now, if you flip the page, we've got step 26 again, which I've renamed to 27. And then they want you to fit all the road wheels and all this kind of stuff. And then they go to 32, which I renamed to 28. And then 33, which I renamed to 29, keeping them in order. So here's the springs. I'm going to go ahead and get the springs lined up. Now there are 24s here, 26s here, then 27s and 25s. So I'm only going to do a few at a time, get them lined up and get them glued on one side. That way when I get ready to drop this all together, hopefully it'll be uh, a little bit easier to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with, let's see here, 24s. These I won't need for a little while. Okay, we need to move on here. There we go. This is step 29, renumbered. So first part I've got here, I'm looking for uh, part 24. So here we go. These are the four springs that will go double up here. And the wide part here see there's kind of like a, a cover here and then the spring that will go toward the top so I want to make sure I put them in the right so I'm going to put one here then I'm going to put one here Then on the front, I'm going to go with uh, 2825, which, let's see, that's these here. And these don't really have a top and the bottom, but they're going to go 
here, yeah, and here. Let me fix that. Okay, that's where those four go. I'm going to set these on and try and get them lined up and glued. See, that's going to be tricky. I couldn't imagine doing eight. Okay, I've got three of them. So let's go ahead and get glue on three out of the four. For a second. This is the only way I could see to do it without uh, just all kinds of alignment issues. Okay, there's three of the four glued. And we can lift it off and let's get this one. back see those all drop into place now okay Okay, and then I'm going to set this off. And there's four of our springs. And they should all be lined up. And what I'm going to do is the rest of 24. We'll go to the inside. We'll set it back on and glue those two. There's that one. And that one. Okay, let's get those two glued. Okay, we'll give it just a second here. It's the only way I could see to do this without having lots and lots of issues. Okay, and we'll set this off again. Very gently. And we're going to do... Be 27s. And they have a short sleeve at the top, which will go toward the tank. So they'll go here. I did the best I could with cleaning up the seams on the springs. There was a pretty good step there, but I, I worked on them for quite a while. I'm trying to make sure that they're kind of where they're not going to be really noticeable. Okay, back on. It's giving me a little issue okay there's that one and then we 
go. One more here. Okay. We'll give it just a minute, and then we've got uh, A26s that'll go in these four locations here. So just a quick second here. Okay, let's gently, gently set it off. So there's what we've got so far. Everything looks to be lined up real well. Okay, and then we've got Okay, let's do this one more time, very gently, set this on, okay, we've got This one. Okay, that one dropped in. And then these two need a little encouragement. Okay, we'll give it just a second. <clears throat> I've ordered a few more parts for my uh, USS Arizona. I've ordered some standoffs and a wooden base and uh, another book. I have one book already. But uh, it's basically uh, like CAD drawings, 3D drawings. This one's going to have a whole bunch of, of uh, actual pictures of the ship. And I ordered a few odds and ends, some super glue, uh, different, different types, things like that. They should all be here in a couple of days. It's still going to be a little while before my deck gets in. The main reason I went for a deck, and I'll show you when I start the Arizona, the... the Deck is in multiple parts, and there's some really bad-looking seams right across the deck. I didn't see any way of making it look good um, without, you know, like covering them with plastic and scribing or something like that. And I thought the wooden deck may be a little easier. Okay. There's all of our springs. All should be lined up good and ready to go. I'm going to let these firm up a bit, and uh, I'll be back, and then we'll start getting those little uh, cross pieces lined up, okay? Be right back, guys. Okay, uh, it's been 10 or 15 minutes, enough for everything to firm up real good. <clears throat> and um, what we've got next... I've got pieces to go on the outsides in these little grooves. Of course, they're not fitting either. So I had to go through and I had to taper this edge just a little bit to get them all to drop in. The uh, next issue I have, 
when you put this in, it goes here. And let me get it all lined up in the groove. Okay. When you measure between these two spots, I get 6.5 millimeters. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay. So I need to have the road wheels no wider than 6.5 millimeters to fit in between like they're supposed to. Here's a road wheel. I just pushed this one together just to see how it fit. Okay, remember we need 6.5 to fit. 7.2. So we're 0.71 too wide. So I'm going to have to go through all the road wheels and I'm going to have to sand the axles on the inside just a little bit to where I get them down to the size I need. Okay, so I'll have to do that before we can go any farther. I'm glad I checked instead of just gluing them all together. But they are too wide. So 6.5 is what we need. And I've got about 7.2, 7.21. So I'll go through all these. It's 16 of them to do. And... Uh, get these all down to the size they need to be, and then we can proceed on with the next step. Okay, guys. I'll be back in a Okay, guys. Uh, it's been several hours. I just uh, shut the camera off, and Peter at Oscale Modeling posted his uh, unboxing of the 1200 Yamato. So I had to watch that. It's a little over an hour long. It's a great video. If you got time and you're interested in big ships, uh, I'll leave a link in the description like I did in the last video. And then Jason at uh, Model Kit Stuff does a live chat every Saturday afternoon. So as soon as I finished Peter's, I started watching, watching Jason. So, of course, I was doing a few things while I was watching, but I've got the wheels all put together and uh, all sized before anybody asks yes i did check against the track links and they they fit perfectly so we should be good on that i, I was afraid that if i narrowed them too much then the track wouldn't fit but it looks like we're going to be all good so here's the the uh, undercarriage i guess you would call it for the for the uh, saint chamond and we've got these wheels to put on and we've got these supports to go on the outsides to put on so let's go ahead and get that done real quick the uh let's lay these out the way they go so d37 goes here uh d9 We'll go here. D20 will go here. D24 will go here. D31 will go here. And D12 will go here. Okay, so that's basically the order. Okay, I'll probably do half of these on camera and then just really quickly do the rest. But I glued most of these together. Some of them were real tight fit. And I didn't really think I needed to, but let's um, get things going here. Got two of them in this first part here, and these are just a slip fit. They don't really need to rotate, but uh, there's no real need to glue them either. And this goes like so. Okay. Try and hold it up there tight. That's just about the way it goes. Whoops. Well, 
it slipped, I'll probably have to glue it again. That quick setting goes off so fast. Okay. Just like so. And it needs to go back just a tiny bit. Get it just where I want. Just a little fiddly. Okay. That's where I want. Let's see if we can get it glued down. But part here needs to go out just a little bit. Okay, that should do it. There's the first one on. Okay, and then three here. Whoop. Sound like the wind's blowing outside just a bit. Okay, that one hole is just a tiny bit tight. I have to run a drill bit through that. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. Maybe just a knife blade. See, there is just a tiny little bit of flash in there. No, I don't want to cut my finger. Whoops, I don't want to break it either. Well, let me shut the camera off and I'll get a, a drill bit for that. I didn't realize it, but there is some, some flash in there. Okay, so I've got a drill bit here. It should work just about right. I don't think I'm going to need the the uh, drill bit holder. I can't think of what it's called right now. There is some just a little bit of flash in there. Just enough to catch. Kind of catching the, the drill bit. There we go. Guess it wouldn't hurt to check the rest. Those look good. Okay, that should do it on that side. I'll check these others too as I glue them on. It was just this one. Okay. Come here. like that. Okay. And then we 
have three at the back. Wheels trying to get away. Just like so. Boy, that fits really good. After I did a lot of work to make it like that, I had to bevel the edges of everything again because the uh, part was just a little bit, whoop, a little bit too wide. I spoke too soon. Okay, that's one side done. I'll go ahead and uh, do the rest off camera, and then we'll come back and we'll put these on, and then I think that'll probably be good for, for this video. Okay, guys, be right back. Okay, guys. <clears throat> okay, guys, here we go. Got all the wheels on. All the springs fit in their respective spots. Uh, these little sway bars all fit good. The track bars, whatever they may be called. So that's where we are right now. This is still not attached. What I have next is I have six of these little bitty bars that run from inside of these braces for the wheels down to the hull. Or maybe I should call it up to the hole. Oh, they go like so. I'm going to do the front two, and then the center, and then the back. And then we'll call it good for this video. There's just a couple more little parts to put on this. Uh, don't amount to much. And uh, we'll do that in the next one. Okay. These have to go on a certain way. The... Um, Let's see, let's use the regular. The bars overlap, so you got to make sure you put the right one in front. It's going to go pretty much like this. Okay. I'll just hold this for a second. I'll put it back on the hole before it, uh, or on the, yeah, the hole before it dries so we can make sure we get our alignment good. This is really, really fragile. Okay, there's the first two. Let's get this back where it goes. And then we'll manipulate these. This needs to go forward right there. And this needs to go forward right there. Okay, those line up with their correct spots in the hole. And I've got two to the center and two to the back to do. Let's 
Let's give it just a couple of minutes. Yeah, that uh, New Game Auto kit's really something. Uh, Peter did an unboxing today on his on the odd scale modeling, and uh, I was just there was so much there I couldn't really take it all in. I'm going to have to go watch the video again. It's just amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and work on the second pair. This here. Go underneath. Okay, and the one on the other side. Same way, it'll go. Like this. Make sure I have it. Yep, I got it right side up. There it is. Okay, set it back on, make sure we've got good alignment on everything. This one needs to come forward and down just a little bit. That'll all glue up fine, and that one's going to be pretty good. I'm not going to put this uh, glue these together until I get some painting done. I think this will be a lot easier to paint. If I keep this in a couple of parts, that way I could get paint underneath and so forth. Okay, there's the first two. That still needs to come forward just a tiny bit. Okay, that looks really good. Then we've got the back two. break it now as much as I've worked on it. And it's off just a tiny bit. Maybe just a touch more blue. Okay. And then one more. <laughs> Isn't that something? I've got to build a whole tractor one of these days. I think Roden makes a kit. I want to see what the similarities and the differences are. Okay, so this one's going to be behind. So, go right here. Seems to be a little high. Okay, I'm going to put her back on one more time. Make sure everything lines up. That needs to go down. And 
done with that and you keep it with you. Yeah, everything lines up pretty good. There's a little flex in it, which when I glue it down for the final time, that'll take care of all of it. But uh, there's just a couple little clamps that go around the back here that I'm going to leave till next time. So uh, next time we'll get the tracks finished up. And I think other than that, I've got just a few other little odds and ends. And then I can get some primer on this and start figuring out the uh, camouflage. It's going to be real interesting, too. All righty, guys. I, I really appreciate all of you guys watching. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. And uh, I'll put a picture of this up right at the end so you can see it a little bit closer. And we'll be seeing you again real soon. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.